Okay, let's do a statistical test on this one. Our parameter of interest is, let's see, uh, proportion of boxes containing action figures less than 25%. That's what we're interested in. So let's do the HO and the HA. So again, we're going to take a sample, and if there's no change, meaning it is 25%, just like they said, that's the null hypothesis. And then the alternative hypothesis is we think it's less than. We think that the po population proportion of the toys in the box is, is less than 25%. And do they give us an alpha level? does not look like it. So we're going to use an alpha level of 0.05. Okay. And let's see. So the plan. One proportion z-test. That is the type of test we will use to test this data. And is it random? Let's take a look. Yes, right here. Assuming the 70 boxes represent a random sample. So random is good. And is it normal? So we would have to take what? 0.25 times 70 and 0.75 times 70. Are both of those bigger than 10? And the answer is yes. So we're good there. And then the independent is um, we're going to assume there's over, whoops, not 720, 750 boxes of cereal to choose from. So our uh, population is big enough to not mess up the stats. Let's go to the next thing. Let's do the math. So let's see. Uh, we're going to do a Z, and it is going to be, ooh, what is the sample proportion? So I better put P hat, right? What did they get? They got 12 out of 70, which is 0.17. One, seven, one approximately. So here we go. We're going to do 0 0.171 minus 0 0.25 and we need the standard deviation. We use the population proportion 0 0.25 times 0 0.75 divided by how many we had. Okay. Now I'm going to just skip the other stuff and put this right into the calculator. So I'm going to stat over to tests and it's a one proportion Z test which is number five and the port proportion is 0.25 for the population and we got 12 out of 70 and we want to know if this is less than so that's that middle one and I'm gonna to go to calculate okay so I get a z-score of negative 1.518. Okay. And I, in this case, I don't have to subtract it from 1. But anyway, in the calculator, it tells me that the p-value is p-value. is equal to 0.064. Okay, and the conclude. What are we going to conclude? We are going to fail to reject because there is simply not enough evidence for us to assume that there's less toys than they said. Not enough evidence.
and you wrap it back to the original problem, right? Fail to reject, not enough evidence to conclude that there's less toys than they say. Further investigation is needed. And done.